Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. I know the case is getting pretty intense right now, but I just want to say I really like the idea of, like, the killer is like kidnapped Maya, brought her to like an office building near the circus, and he's like, "Oh, the circus is in town. I'll go see the circus." And he's already just like watching the very big circus, like, "Oh, brother, this is very wonderful." <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, hi guys, welcome back to Phoenix Wright Justice for All. We are gonna hear from Adrian Andrews today again. Court will now reconvene. The killer, the man who murdered the victim, handed this to his client. From this, one obvious question arises: Why this particular item? I believe the answer to that question will provide us with the name of the real criminal. Now then, the prosecution calls the defendant's manager, Adrian Andrews, to the stand. Okay. Currently, the witness is accused of tampering and obstruction of justice. However, you have been called to the witness stand today to ascertain who exactly is guilty of murder. I understand. Very good. Now, have you ever seen this bear before, Miss Andrews? Of course I have. You have seen it before? That's right. It's only natural that the witness has. Miss Andrews, could you please enlighten to the court to this bear's secrets? Alright. Why? Why does she... Probably has something to do with, like... The, uh, the gal, her a mentor... Celeste. Celeste. I, I, keep, I keep wanting to say Cosette, but it's not Cosette. <laughs> Why Cosette? It I don't doesn't know! Even sound the same. God, like it's Celeste. a little. The bear yeah. figurine. Actually, this is an elaborate puzzle. If you know the cor correct order, it can be taken apart one piece at a time. At its center is a small cavity with just enough room to store a small item. Because of its complexity, if you don't know the order, you can't open the bear. You really can't tell that it's a small jewelry box just by looking at it. So that's why it has all the cuts. It's actually like a wooden puzzle. That makes more sense, because I was like, why did you give us this murdered bear? Okay. <laughs> so this figurine, it's a container of sorts, is it? Yes. Looks can be deceiving, wouldn't you agree? Yes, this is superb craftsmanship. Oh, yes, I nearly forgot. You may begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Looks like there's really was something to that bear after all. The bear figurine. The bear! No, that's what I keep thinking of the entire time from Adventure Time. Yep. It's an elaborate puzzle. A puzzle? That's right. Hmm, but it looks like an ordinary figurine. True enough. To people who don't know, I'm sure they would never guess that this was a puzzle. So what kind of puzzle is this exactly? I wonder, can she take it apart for us to see what's inside? Maybe. <laughs> So you can take it apart? And how would one go about doing that? Well, you first turn its tail to the right and then push it in. Oh yes, I see. After that, the arms and legs are free to move and can be removed. Ooh, this is most interesting. A boy and his new toy. It's like he's five all over again. <laughs> oh, don't mind me. Go ahead and carry on. I think he's lost it. So what do you find after you take the puzzle apart? At its center is a small cavity with just enough room to store a small item. And how do you know about this? I know because I was the one who bought it. Huh? It was a souvenir from when a friend and I went to Switzerland. I mean... Yeah, that sounds like something that could come from Switzerland. Switzerland, it's, it's got but... the cheese and the chocolate and the money. <laughs> And neutrality, because no one wants to attack Switzerland. And craftsmanship. Yeah! Then this... this was a present from you? That's right. It was a puzzle in the shape of a bear, so I thought it would be perfect for Juan. So it was a present from Miss Andrews. Witness, let's continue with your testimony. I feel really bad for the guy if he's like, I don't like bears! I had to do the whole bear thing as a publicity stunt, and now everybody gives me bears! Yeah, that would be annoying. <laughs> that would be really obnoxious. That also sounds like a lot of... Sadly, celebrities. Well, there's one there's one YouTuber, I'm guessing a lot of people will be able to guess who it is from the comments, where he's like, 
or like when he first started out YouTube, he's like, oh yeah, Cheez-Its, they're like my favorite snack ever. He's like, yeah, they were my favorite snack until my fans sent me like a thousand boxes of them, and now I hate them. Yeah, <laughs> that's how that's how other people are for other stuff. Mm. That's part of why most people should not name their YouTube name after food or like mention stuff like that <laughs> as much. It's like, hey, I'm Brian Mac and Cheese. Oh, now Brian Mac and Cheese <laughs> always gets Mac and Cheese. Yeah, right? no, that's literally... <laughs> He's like peanut butter gamer. Like that's basically like where he's like, I don't even really like peanut butter. But just, everyone's but giving everybody me, gives it to me. <laughs> Poor peanut butter yeah. gamer. Yeah. Shout out to the peanut butter gamer. <laughs> so how exactly? Who exactly knew how to solve this puzzle? I want to see Brian Mac and Cheese. <laughs> what kind of videos would he post? Watch somebody make a Brian Mac and Cheese profile and comment on their video. <laughs> that would be amazing. That would be hilarious. Only the two of us, Juan and myself. It was a souvenir from Switzerland. So I doubt there are that many people with the same bear in this country. It's the killer. He's probably famous everywhere. <laughs> da, 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 Not like famous da, 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 in that da, way. Da, da, I'm da, saying da, da, like famous, like world-renowned criminal. Oh yeah, but this looks like he can. Like, it's not like he's in Hollywood. Like. Da, 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 oh, we're the boys of the chorus. We people like, like our show. <laughs> he was one of the boys of the chorus. But this looks like it can be easily broken, especially if someone wanted to get what was inside. Well, it's a toy, but it can never be the same again once it's been broken. Oh. Stupid judge for breaking it. He didn't really? break it. Oh. <laughs> so that's why she was elaborate. Yeah. Okay. Who else knows that this bear is actually a small container or jewelry box? I never told anyone. And as long as Juan never told anyone either, then the only, only the two of us know. The two of you, huh? Then of course that means Mr. Ongard didn't know, right? I think this is about all I'm going to get for now. Figuring updated in the court record. Well, Mr. Wright, I think even you have come to realize that there is one very important fact we have uncovered, and that is this. This bear is actually a jewelry box. Hmm... Now that we have agreed to this point, there is only one logical question that can come next, and that is this. What is inside this box? What's inside? That's right. That's what we're going to find out next. Witness? Yes. You are the only one who can open this. Please. Ooh, got that sass. Yeah. <laughs> There's a painful silence hanging over the courtroom. All eyes are on Miss Andrews now as she solves the puzzle and takes the bear apart. And reads a book at the same time, apparently. Yep. I've opened it. Is this what you wanted? <gasps> ah! Okay, now this makes way more sense. What is this? It looks like a note? Then she had it the whole time! Why? But she didn't. Yes, she did! She was like, I got it from Switzerland, I gave it to Juan. She forgot the bear. She gave it to Juan, so she's and then like, later, oh. when that happened, he must have put it in the and bear. And she's like, hey, Juan, I want that bear back. Can you give it back? He's like, yeah, sure. <laughs> or not. <laughs> wow. So that explains that why she was way looking. More sense. Yeah. So I don't think we need to guess at what this is, do we, Mr. Wright? It's the suicide note. The suicide note? The suicide note left by Juan Corrida's former manager, Celeste Impacts. Let's not read it. Until now, no one knew of its whereabouts, but just as we suspected, it was hidden. Hidden by the victim Juan Corrida himself. It seems Celeste Impacts had very beautiful handwriting, and she just as beautifully signed her own name on this document. This is most definitely the note she left right before she committed suicide. Order! Witness, did you know about this? Yes, I did. I heard all about it from Juan. When I discovered his body, I looked for the bear. I wanted to destroy the note before it became public. But I couldn't find it anywhere. Because it had already been taken by the killer. Everything is going at Mr. Edgeworth's case. So now that the suicide note has been found, what's the next logical question? What is written on the note? That's right. At least, that's what I would think. Now then, I believe it is only appropriate the contents of this note be made known. I can't stop you, can I? 
I went through so much just to get my hands on it. And I was going to burn it for her sake. I'm deeply sorry, but I can't allow you to persuade me to stop. Your Honor, if you could please read the contents of this note aloud. It turns out it's just really embarrassing, like... You know, one time when I went to the pool with my friend, like, like it, it had like, nothing to do with it. <laughs> yeah, nothing to do with it. Everyone's just like, well, that was a waste of time. Uh, yeah, but then she was like, oh, but it was so embarrassing. I should have burned this. I should have dated Mikey from high school. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You should have dated Brian Mac and Cheese. <laughs> Before he became Brian Mac and Cheese. Very well. <laughs> I wonder if there's a YouTuber already named. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna look up after this. <laughs> the judge's voice rang loud and clear through the dead silent courtroom. In her note, Celeste Impacts left a note to us, uh, a record of all that had happened. It looked like a really small note considering all. Oh. About being used and then thrown away by On Guard. About being engaged to Corda and On Guard's role in destroying that. And about how she decided, in her despair, to end it all. That's a shame. And that's all Miss Impacts had to say. I wish we had, like, complete quotes. Yeah. There is one thing I would like to say here. The prosecution has no interest in slandering, Mr. Ongard. Really? Then what? Our intention, Your Honor, is to establish a motive for murder. Isn't that correct, witness? Yes. On the night of the murder, Juan was going to make the contents of the note public. After the post-ceremony show, he was going to hold a press conference. My word. Matt Ongard values above all else his refreshing like a spring breeze image. Which is why he had to stop this note from being made I'm public. I'm surprised that she also wanted to stop that note from like being made public as well. She wanted like, to do it like to respect I was about to Celeste, say. and he wanted to do it to protect himself. Okay. That was basically it. He had to do it, at any cost. Celeste's suicide note added to the court record. It's Ongard's fault that woman killed herself! And this time he even went so far as to kill someone to stop him from revealing that! How terrible! What a selfish person! I guess there are slimeball lawyers out there who will defend these creeps too. There is no margin for doubt here. Mr. DeKiller's client's goal was to obtain this suicide note. And the only person who needed this note that badly is the defendant. Let's not forget that the bear with the note inside was found at the defendant's house. It seems that we have come to the truth at last. The defendant's motives were entirely selfish. He deserves no sympathy from anyone. You're getting no sympathy from me. <laughs> You'll get no sympathy, sympathy from me. me. Ike! Stay back! <laughs> How am I supposed to escape from this one? Why the hesitation, Phoenix? Gumshoe hasn't called yet, so you know what you must do. I know. I have to carry on and buy him some more time. Right. Our phone's gonna go off in the middle of court and it'll be like, duh, 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 duh. They're like, Mr. Phoenix, right? Turn off your phone. No, it's important! <laughs> Gotta ship you! Yeah. Okay, there are two deadly pieces of evidence the figurine and the suicide note. Maybe somehow I can find a way out of this situation through one of those. The gavel is already in the judge's hands, Phoenix. Hurry! The suicide note or the figurine? Which one of these should I pursue? No time for a safe stadium! <laughs> um... I don't know! Either of these I feel like... Alright, we'll do the suicide thing. note then. <sighs> Please wait, your honor. Oh man, look at that lawyer! He's still going at it? It's like he doesn't care that he's trying to get a killer off the hook! I think your honor believes that Matt Ongard killed in order to obtain this note. Yes, that is correct. But that seems a little strange. In fact, I think there's a contradiction here. This note was hidden by Mr. Corda until the night of the murder. If that is the case, I say that Matt Ongard could not have known what was written on this note. Oh, I didn't think of it that way. Exactly. But I did think of it that way, and I thought it was rather strange. No one in their right mind would kill for a note without first knowing what it said. How would you know what it said? I mean, it is exactly. kind of Adrian Andrews' life ambition, so she could have been like muttering to herself like, I gotta do this thing, I gotta get this now. No, she wouldn't have no. done that. Order, order, order! 
you make a valid point, Mr. Wright. Mr. Edgeworth, what is your opinion? It was just a flash, but I think I did rather well on this one. Unfortunately. I think he believes differently. <laughs> I believe a show of appreciation is in order. H huh? The defense seems to be in love with wishing more despair upon itself. I would like to direct the court's attention to this. What is that? Oh yeah, I already forgot. It is a very small video camera, your honor. This type of camera is commonly used as a means of spying. S spying What the? I thought that spy camera was in my possession. It's in everyone's possession. It's the court record. Matt Ongard and the victim both thought of the other as their biggest rival. They even went so far as to use this type of item to find each other's weaknesses. And? The victim, Juan Corrida, was being spied on. His personal life was being watched by none other than Matt Ongard. This is gonna be the first time we actually need to get guilty to win. Yeah, based- well, after Maya gets rescued. Yeah. ORDER! ORDER! <coughs> Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? It's like a really complicated you... fire Don't tell me you knew about your client's spying activities! Well... Sort of? SORT OF IS NOT AN ACCEPTABLE ANSWER, Mr. Wright! I see you are confused, Mr. Wright. You're probably thinking, but I have the camera that was in the stuffed bear's eye. But this camera that I have is not the same one. Last night, I searched the victim's house on a hunch. Using this... Gumshoe's Bug Sweeper. By the way, Mr. Wright, the defendant's fingerprints were found on this camera. Matt Ongar's fingerprints were on there?! Well, Phoenix? It looks like those cameras were hidden all over the place, huh? What am I supposed to say to this piece of evidence? I think this is the end. It's fairly obvious that Mr. Ongar learned of the suicide note through this. He was watching the victim all alone. But only at 8 p.m. No! No! The, the bear... The bear with the video camera in it was only recording at 8 p.m. These cameras were uh, in Juan's house, monitoring him 24-7. That's great. He's got me good this time. I don't have anything to counter that. Hey, hey, no! what's that lawyer thinking? Mommy, is that man the bad killer guy? Shh, stop! Don't look at him! The way he's sweating is just so, ew, nasty. Phoenix. Some of us are head sweaters, I'm I sorry. Can't I can't believe that someone brought their child to this. Bring your child to a court day. <laughs> Bring your child to jury duty? <laughs> no jury here. Yeah, that's true, actually. Yes, Chief? Have you figured out what you're going to do next? What I'm going to do next? Does running away like a frightened child work? I know it seems like Mr. Edgeworth is very close to putting that lid on the case. But, in his eagerness to prove his point, he forgot one very important thing. Well, what is it, Mia? There's a piece of evidence that he really should investigate. Something he should investigate? I would really hate to see the good prosecutor get scolded. For not remembering to look into the item when he had the chance. Why are you speaking in riddles all of a sudden? She wants you to figure it out yourself and get a better lawyer. I'd rather read it myself. Alright, I think this time we finally understand everything. <sighs> well, Mr. Wright, you don't have any further objections, do you? Why is this piece of evidence that Mia's talking about? Oh, can we not go back and say the bear figurine is also a problem? Do they both work? I thought we had to do both of them, because if you're like, the bear figurine, I'm pretty sure if you say the bear figurine, he's, he'll be like, how the heck did Mr. Ongar know the note was in here if he didn't know it was a puzzle? Like, how did he know to tell the killer how to do that? And he would also bring up, like, he was spying on the victim, of course. Oh, well, that's fine. What is this piece of evidence that Mia's talking about? Can I figure out what it is that still needs to be looked at, or should I let it go? Um, we're not going we're... into that Frozen song, are we? <laughs> I don't even... Like, yeah. I have no objections to Ongar getting his guilty sentence as he should. But I can't let that happen yet. Mia said there's still something worth examining. If she thinks so, then even I have- even if I have to force it, I must find something to bring up. I have an objection, Your Honor. Edra's just like, again. Hmph. <laughs> that was about the weakest objection I've ever heard, Mr. Wright. Not everyone screams in court! <laughs> Your Honor! The defense has no intentions of letting this go, go so easily! You're beginning to sound desperate. That's just your imagination, Your Honor! 
Mr. Edgeworth, this is not like you at all. In your eagerness to prove your point, you've forgotten one very important thing. Hey, isn't that what I just said? So you're telling me that I forgot something? You're so close, Mr. Edgeworth. But there's something you really should examine about this piece of evidence. Is it the bear? The Is bear? bear? Well, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, I do believe some special examination is needed. But I think that item should be examined. The item that should be examined is the defense's gray matter. Whoops! <laughs> Mr. Wright, after this trial is over, I would like to see you in my chambers. Oh, no! I think there are a few things we need to discuss. Oh. oh. Yes, Your Honor. Hmm. If you're going to speak, at least use your brain to make something oh intelligible. <laughs> so you're telling me... <laughs> it's right here. In your, your brain. brain. <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh yeah, also like my new thing is when something surprises me in a Let's Play is to be like, Cool, oh, cook that Ratatouille! Oh, <laughs> man, no! <laughs> Ratatouille is just such a horrible like, movie, what can I say? When he, when he runs back into, like, STOP THAT SOUP! THE <laughs> LORD! Look, everyone and everyone's just him. hearing, <laughs> and then he gets the stool. That is my favorite Pixar movie by far. Really? I love that it's movie. in my top five, but it's, it's not my It's definitely favorite. my favorite. I, I also I, love I, Coco. I, Coco's so and good. And I also really liked, um... It's so it, many Pixar movies Zootopia are so good. Is Zootopia a Pixar movie? No, that's, no, that's, that's Disney. Not a, that's okay, Disney. apparently I didn't realize that Zootopia is super polarizing. Some people, like, hate it. Yeah, some people hate it and some people love it. I liked it. I yeah. liked it. It wasn't, like, my favorite. I didn't like the good. villain. I wish that Big Hero 6 was a Pixar movie because that's also one of my favorites. That's such a good movie. Uh, Zootopia was good. I felt like the whole twist villain did not work well for that No, it all. didn't. But it was a very cool idea and I really liked a lot. Yeah. So anyway, do you know what the evidence... We talk way too much about Disney and Pixar on this thing. We do! Artie we should Marty... talk more about Brian Mac and Cheese. <laughs> Artie and Marty, Pixar, our... This isn't my Harvest Moon 64, yeah. let's play it. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Do you okay. know what evidence it is? I'm a job! No, um... The bear? We really don't know! Yo, oh. The other bear? No. From the other foreign it's, country? It's gotta be something that... Oh yeah, that is from a foreign country. Not Switzerland. Or maybe it is Switzerland. Switzerland just has a bunch of bears, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. If you're from Switzerland, let us know. Is it just Celeste's photo? No. No? The suicide note? It's the suicide note. Okay. That is Miss Impax's suicide note, right? Hm. Who knows? <laughs> what? What is he implying? I mean, sure, this suicide note was found inside this bear. But this bear was in my possession until a few moments ago. Which means... The handwriting on this suicide note has yet to be analyzed. Oh. So... This is the most ridiculous... <laughs> as to whether this pivotal piece of evidence is really written by Miss Impacts or not. I just want to see Mr. Edgeworth have, like, a laughing chuckle. <laughs> at, like, one point, like, in a trial, if you really, really, really screw up, just have him be like... <laughs> that His laughing chuckle is like his, like, shrug thing. Yeah, it's annoying. He doesn't laugh out loud, really. This has yet to be even remotely confirmed! I love that music. M Mr. Wright! You can't seriously be suggesting- Mr. Wright! You- Are you saying this suicide note is fake? Miss Andrews, you were the one who tried to pin this murder on Mr. Ongard. Who's to say you didn't create a fake suicide note and put it into this bear? How dare you! Could actually be. Your Honor, the defense is indiscriminately accusing the witness again. There is no evidence linking the witness to the suicide note whatsoever. She almost killed herself! Oh, but we can't bring that up or she'll kill herself. Yeah. But if this is a fake, then the witness is the only person who could have made it. What? Recall the witness's testimony concerning this figurine. The only person other than the victim who could solve the puzzle is the witness herself. <laughs> Pair number seven. <laughs> you still remember? <laughs> Miss Andrews, you wrote this note, didn't you? You wrote it so you could use it to frame Matt Ongard. I... I did no such thing. Right, if you're going to pronounce this suicide note a fake, then show this court some evidence to support your theory. Mr. Edgeworth, you were the one who presented this scrap of paper as evidence. That means the burden of proof lies with you, the prosecution. Arrgh! 
That's enough! Mr. Edgeworth, can you confirm the handwriting on this suicide note? It is as the defense has stated, the handwriting has yet to be analyzed! If that's the case, it seems that yet again we have reached a point where a verdict is impossible. Imposs- I swear that's to you- That's impossible! If we have a third day, I'm gonna lose my mind. This isn't good, Phoenix. The judge is going to carry this trial over one more day. I don't think Maya will physically be able to make it another day. I didn't want to have to do this, but I don't have a choice. I request that both the prosecution and defense further investigate. Handwriting analysis, my butt! That's just the lawyer trying to buy more time! Hunger is guilty! Look, any idiot can tell you that! I think we've reached the end of the line. Guilty! 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 This is like the worst Olympics team ever that they're chanting for. Yeah. Finally! Thank heavens! What is that sound? It's Gumshoe! Hello? Gumshoe? <sighs> what is with him? What's with that sigh? Where's Maya? What happened to Killer? He... Uh... He got away. What?! I'm sorry, pal! I really am! I, I don't know what to say besides I'm sorry. I wish there was some way to make it up to you. I really do! A anyway, what's going on? We found his hideout, pal. But the two of them were already gone. This is terrible. I'm going to keep looking for them, pal. Don't you worry. I just need a little more time. But don't tell me we don't... We don't have any more... Guilty! 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 Do you hear that? They're calling for his head! Mr. Wright, I can't... For us to come this far and... Oh! What is it? Let me talk to Mr. Edgeworth! <laughs> I can't do that! <laughs> Mr. Wright, would you please get a hold of yourself? Y yes, Your Honor. I'm about to end today's proceedings. You may take your phone calls after. No! <laughs> hold on, Your Honor. Edgeworth, catch! <laughs> take that! <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth? Please, you've got to buy us some more time! Court is in session. Wow! What a jerk! I'm sorry, Your Honor. You were saying... Mr. Wright, this is a court of law! I I'm sorry, Your Honor, but... What a jerk! I'm reluctant to do this, however. It appears that I have no choice but to suspend proceedings until tomorrow. I... This time I really can't do anything. Court is now adjourned for I the have day. I just- I will hope the killer is hiding in the crowd. <laughs> Thank God. Please wait, Your Honor. Edgeworth? Well, what is it, Mr. Edgeworth? I humbly request another 30 minutes of Your Honor's time. For what purpose? We can perform the necessary tests on this piece of evidence in that time. Hmm. But can you really obtain your results in 30 minutes? I believe we can, Your Honor. But wouldn't it be better if we adjourn for today and then reconvene tomorrow? No! 30 minutes. Please, Your Honor. That's all I am asking for. Please, Your Honor. Very well. I love my job. <laughs> At the prosecution's request, this court will now take a 30 minute recess. But be advised that I will not allow another recess today. I'm not sure if this is helping or hurting us. The court will now take its final recess of the day. He has to go get lunch. <laughs> and take yeah, a bathroom break. No kidding. March 23rd, 204 p.m. Oh, late lunch. The uh, district court defendant lobby number three. Right, well, what's going on with Maya's situation? The killer it looks like he got away again. 30 minutes? We can't find her in that time. Uh... Report! Ah! Is that Mr. Edgeworth? We don't have time, just spit it out. R right It looks like we just missed them, sir. But the killer left a few fiends behind by accident in his rush to get away. A few fiends? Can we use any of them as evidence? Ho ho ho! I thought you'd ask, pal! I've got the fiends he left with me right now, and I'm on my way over! What about the rest of the police? Are they just investigating? <laughs> really? 
That's odd. Any items like that are usually sent to the crime lab first. We don't have time to wait for those guys, sir! When those guys weren't looking, I swiped the stuff and ran! What? Thank you, Well, Joshua. I'm not a detective anymore, so I had to. I'm really sorry, sir, but I've got to put the law on hold for now. Sounds bad. I hope he doesn't get in too much trouble over this. With my hook of junk car, I'd be there in about 20 minutes, sir. Don't worry, I'll be there. Wait for me. Uh, Alright, just get here in one piece. I'm on a mission and no one can stop me now, sir. No one. I'm putting on all the stops running every red light. <laughs> Items left by the murderer, huh? Maybe there's something among them that will be decisive enough for to end this. This is also part of why... <laughs> just crash into the car! <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Detective Gumshoe, answer me. Wait, did he just... No one can stop. I'm... What happened? What happened? I thought he actually just crashed into the car. Right? No! <laughs> what what like, happened? Like, I'll be here in 20 minutes. <gasps> like a Grandma Thora. <laughs> Hang on, <laughs> sweetie! Like, it sounded like he had an accident. I'm guessing his cell phone broke as well. What, what was he thinking? We've got to hurry up and call for help. But we have no idea where he is. His cell phone is broken, and he wasn't driving a patrol car, so no radio either. Also, if we don't get to those items before they do, the police will take possession of them. No! <gasps> Let's we go on a mission! We can't Run! let that happen! No! We can't Kill let that happen! <laughs> <laughs> well, wow. if there's a way we can find out where he is, then we stand a chance. I hate beans. Why, oh why did Gumshoe have to get into an accident now? That's part of is why there I... any way to find out where he is at this moment? There's a way, come on. That's part of why I'm also like, when I'm driving and someone's being really obnoxious, like they're tailgating me, or they're trying mm -hmm. to speed ahead of me, or they're like, not running red lights, but like they're doing things that I'm like, you shouldn't be doing this. I'm like, well, who knows what kind of day they've had? Like, mm -hmm. that's why yeah. I, I really am not mad at a lot of drivers that are like, oh. <laughs> I, I don't understand the people where it's like, in the driver's side video, it's like, this person jumps on the hood of your car and starts <laughs> screaming at you. It's like, what? <laughs> who would possess them to do yeah, that? No, exactly. <laughs> but like, for me, I'm just like, you know, I don't know who this person is, or what kind of day they've had, or what kind of life they've had, like, so yeah. I don't really judge particularly. Like, if they've literally disobeyed the law and they, like, ran through a red light, I'm like, that's kind of bad. That's really bad. But, like, if they, if it took, like, two lights to get through a green, I'm a little annoyed. Oh, yeah. But, absolutely. like, you know, if they're really, if they're going too slow or they're going too fast... If somebody's, like, speeding massively and, like, running lights, I'm just like... Maybe they're taking their wife to the hospital. Then. I was like, literally, <laughs> that was literally my like, well, that might be what is going on, so. That's, that's completely acceptable, alright. I mean, it's not by law, but it totally is. Well, I think if the police pulls you over when you're speeding and doing that, and you're like, my wife is in labor, they'll be like, oh, follow us, and yeah. like, we'll clear out. Yeah. That is really nice about the police. Ah, it's no use. I can't think of anything. Uh, I see. That was great. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> That's right, there is a way. What? How? I'm sure we can find out where Detective Gumshoe is through this. The, um, transmitter. No, maybe what? not. Not the transmitter. The transceiver? Transceiver. Well, because he was near the dude. So if he was like, if they were near the place... Oh, and you're saying trace the signal? Yeah, then the, he'll be somewhere within a, you know... At least reasonably close. Feet. Okay. Right, we're not in the middle of a mock trial here. I guess this won't work, huh? I guess it's up to me. Alright, I'll think of something on my end. Don't get your hopes up too high, but I'll try my best. Did I say something wrong? Alright. This is something I actually did not get on my first time playing. Okay. Oh, a person? Hey! Why are you bringing up Francisca at a time like- Oh, I see! I'll try to get in contact with her. The chances are slim, but she's all we have. <laughs> Prosecute? Francisca. Will she even want to help us? Edgeworth. What is it? I don't have any right to judge anyone ever again. Yep. I know my client is guilty. But what I'm doing now- I'm pinning the guilt onto somebody totally innocent, and using the evidence to do so. It might be my turn to say Defense Attorney Phoenix Wright chooses death. Right? It doesn't suit someone like you to cry useless tears. 
whether you did your job well or not, that can only be seen after the verdict has been decided. The verdict. Is Prosecutor Edgeworth here? Yes, Bailiff. There was a phone call for you, sir. They said it was extremely urgent. They're probably finished with the handwriting analysis. I have to go take this call. In the meantime, think hard about what it is you must do. Call Francisca! <laughs> oh, we have to continue later. Come on! It's just annoying. So, we could do two mini, uh, mini episodes after this, or one massive episode after this? Okay. Oh, and massive episode because credits. Maybe we'll have to do two episodes then. All right, well, that's it for today, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, tune in next time. Something big's gonna happen. Something We're gonna I'm... have a car... I don't know. We're gonna do, like, an anime car chase type of deal. <laughs> it's something I'm guessing nobody will be expecting. Anyhow, oh. tune in then. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.